for a sec. I just want to introduce this book here. Um, the San Francisco uh, Occupy Anthology was actually uh, uh, published by a couple good friends of mine. So I didn't know you were going to read that tonight. So I just want people to have a chance to see this. It's uh, published by uh, uh, Virginia Barrett and Bobby Coleman for the, the Studio Saraswa Saraswati Press in San Francisco. Uh, this is an incredible collection of Occupy poetry, so uh, kind of check that out. Uh, oh, you bet. Now, I want to mention that uh, Edis is in this as well, right? Yes, Edis uh, is also in this as well. Oh, wonderful. Great. So we have uh, a couple of Occupy, uh, Occupy uh, poets here from the anthology. Fantastic. We're going to be here in from our a little later on. Uh, this actually seems like the good moment to kind of take the hat and, and just pass it to the back of the room. We're doing a special collection tonight for the Revolutionary Poets Brigade anthology that we're going to be producing here in Los Angeles. All going back to all of, basically all of us poets here in the room who are going to be part of this. It's for a group effort. Uh, and so anything you do, not, not required, it's just appreciated. So I'll just pass this around. And just kind of make that work away around the room. Thank you very much. And uh, now to bring up another new poet who I've actually been in uh, touch with uh, quite some time, but it's the first time I get to hear her live, I believe. So I'm very happy to welcome to the stage Char Charmaine Leland St. Jean. Oh, I'm going to be reading a Monte, a poem from my forthcoming book, which is called The Song of Sparrows. A Monte. A prayer upon her bony lips, a norte, a dream growing like plumeria blossoms from empty chambers in her heart. In a norte, she can make a decent wage. Her children will not go to bed hungry. She quits her job at the plantation, kisses her children's warm cheeks as they sleep, says goodbye to Colombia. The Rio Grande behind her, she now mops my neighbor's floors, scrubs their toilets for ten bucks an hour. By the time she pays rent for her room, buys bus tokens and junk food, there is little left to send home. Her children grow up without her. Abuelita sends black and white photographs. The little one is still frail and thin. El Norte. The land of milk and honey, the promised land he believes in. He'll go on ahead, send for his children one by one, then his wife and the baby. Under the sweltering San Fernando Valley sun, he pushes the market basket as he picks through the neighborhood trash for glass and aluminum to recycle for pennies. Surely his job teaching the village children their ABCs was better than this. In the marketplace in El Salvador, his wife almost forgets she is married. The man with the gold tooth smiles at her as he wraps the fish in newspaper, adding an extra piece now and then. She misses her husband, but has nothing to confess to the priest as he leans in closer to hear her sins. Oh. Well, Charmaine uh, Leland St. John, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you uh, very much. I love that. Thank you. Uh, next is another new poet uh, uh, to the brigade that uh, met uh, back in April at the Occupy event that we did at Beyond Baroque, and I'm, I'm glad, glad that he's uh, active part of the brigade now. Uh, give it up to, for Nigel Mitchell. Thank you, Mark, for putting this together. Um, Revolutionary Poets Brigade. Um, many years ago, when I was in England, there was a, a movement of beat poets that were um, opposed to um, war and injustice around the smashing of the unions and Margaret Thatcher and the allegiance between Thatcher and Reagan. I uh, first got very involved, very involved. In fact, I got into a lot of trouble because I got too involved. Um, 
now I believe it's time. It's time for all of us to stand up and say what we believe in. And I think poets, singers, songwriters, artists have to push that envelope as far as we can. I thank you, Chris. I know your band is doing great work. Much, much love. All right. Um, this is one piece that is blurred. It's uh, it's on social media mostly, but it's also on the, the mass media and how we're manipulated so very easily. It's called Dead Neck and then Advertising Junkie. Cables down, I'm blown to town. The wind that changes kisses ass. I've seen the end of several pop stars. I killed a child to be a man. I sought out wisdom in dumb places, and I'm racing with my next of kin. I've sucked the lips off many faces, and messed up phrases, they pierce my skin. I see the headline in the papers, the new messiah, he's coming soon. He drives a big car, on unleaded. He's conscious of the toxic fumes. We stare at the TV every evening, the news is providing light relief. And the boredom is killing this inner feeling. And the TV heaven, it's beyond belief. Follow the leader, it's driving me crazy. I'm just killing time, the death of a friend. And where's it all coming from? And where's it all going to? And when will all this crap come to an end? The hatred and the anger, the social injustice. Well, maybe tomorrow there's a brain dead revival. Ignorant, sick of it. I don't want no part of it. Life is for the living. I'm not dead above the neck. And it leads into Advertising Junkie, um, which I wrote when I first came to America, because um, I couldn't believe the amount of advertising. Everywhere you turn, somebody's trying to sell you something. Well, let's try and sell them back something important. Revolution. A revolution of the heart, a revolution of the mind, a revolution for all of us, a revolution of kindness, of caring for each other. Freeze frame on starving millions and sell us daily bread. You sell us short, no pause for thought, and kick us in the head. A bigger car, a brand new home, an orthopedic bed, a neutron bomb, a telethon, and I'll switch for my head. Get another fix, take another shot. I'm your advertising junkie, and I'm taking what you got. A style, a smile, a golden mile, a reason to survive. Consumer generation game reminds me I'm alive. You sell me revolution, soft focus, camera three. A monochrome reminder of how it used to be. Investment in the future, nostalgia is the key. You feed me war and glory, praise and sweetness for my tea. A karaoke joker said all good men are free. Well, I don't mind, I'll stand in line. This world belongs to me. I own the radiation, the pollution of the sea, the acid rain, the toxic waste, the garbage on TV. The smiling politician, the hooker and the queen. I own them all, they work for me. I own your TV screen. Give it up for Nigel. And just a reminder, if any poets have walked in uh, recently and you haven't signed up yet, please sign up on the list in the back so we can make sure we can get you into, into the um, rounds up here. Um, next, I'd like to bring up another poet that uh, I've known for quite a while, kind of 